amazing recipe. I am so excited yet another day because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make a delicious pan seared flounder dinner. This recipe right here, pretty much bomb. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients and you know, make a Gina Young style, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my pan seared flounder before. I'm going to make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. First thing that you will need is some nice fresh flounder. So I have some flounder here, and then we're going to need some flour, just a little bit of flour. Now, I want to talk about something really quickly before we get into the ingredients. Alongside of our pan seared flounder, we are going to have some fried polenta, and then we're going to have some spinach as well. So, th so these are the ingredients I'm about to tell you all about. You're going to need some tomatoes. You will need some nice sweet onion. You're going to need some polenta. Um, sometimes it'll be called mush. And of course, you're going to need the spinach that I spoke about. I got some nice fresh spinach here, about three to four pounds. And then you're going to need a couple of spices so we can make everything taste amazing. So right here, we have a nice stick of butter. We have some Old Bay seasoning, one clove of garlic. Um, what is it? <laughs> Parsley flakes, black pepper, sazon, and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. I couldn't be more excited to share with you all how easy it is to make a pan seared fish. A pan seared fish, I don't believe that I've ever uh, made that for you all on my channel yet, but today we're gonna do it. We're gonna have some fun delicious talk about an easy way to make fish and and it's packed with so much flavor now here's what i want you all to do you see that you see the um spices that i'm going to be using today but if there's any spices that you would like to use go ahead and incorporate those spices so you can enjoy it as well now since the fish is so nice and thin i'm gonna just season one side you see i'm going in with the black pepper flounder is so flaky it's delicate and it's delicious and guess what it's not fishy and your fish when you bring it home i have to say this your fish should never ever smell fishy if it smells fishy toss it out you don't want it okay so the parsley flakes is going to be used just for some color just to make it nice and beautiful right it's not really going to give it much flavor but it makes it nice and gorgeous now we're going to do something really interesting i'm going to season the fish two times because what i am going to do but you don't have to do it i want to lightly just sprinkle a little tiny bit of flour onto the fish you don't have to if you don't want to and it will definitely be delicious without the flour but when i pan sear a, a fish i like just a really light dusting but i'll show you so we're going to use this gorgeous sazon I'm gonna put a nice amount of that on there, okay? Just like so in this manner. We're gonna go in with some Old Bay seasoning. It's like you cannot have fish, not at the Young's house, without Old Bay. Oh, yes, look at that. And then I'm gonna put just a little teeny tiny bit of salt onto each piece. If I haven't said, I hope you all are having an amazing day today. I do. I hope you all have a great weekend. Let me know in the comment section below, have you ever tried to make a pan seared fish? If you haven't, you are in for a treat because it's so simple and delicious. So now here's what I want to do. Now that we have this nice and seasoned, I want these seasonings to really seep into this beautiful fish. So I'm going to let it set with the seasonings for at least 15 minutes and then I'll come back and we're going to get started on this really simple, delicious spinach, Gina Young style. So while we let our fish um, kind of marinate with the spices, let's go ahead and chop up some nice garlic. When I make um, spinach this way it's like you almost have to have the fresh garlic in the onion it is just it just really gives the spinach a nice amazing taste you know all right got a little piece on this garlic that I want to cut off I'm not happy with that get off of there okay give it a nice whack to help me with the chopping process there we go and what I want to do is I want to get this garlic 
and a little bit of onion into the pan of some vegetable oil. And also in my pan, I have about a tablespoon and a half of some sweet cream butter, okay? And we're gonna cook the onions and the garlic until it gets nice and fragrant. You don't have to use a whole lot of onion, just a little bit for flavor, one clove of garlic. This is a large clove, so really, how much garlic you wanna use is just fine. So let me show you how much onion we're gonna use. This right here, that's all we're gonna use for that large amount of spinach, but you all know that are familiar with fresh um, spinach, you know that it's gonna kinda cook down. All right, I wanna chop this up just like so, and then we're gonna get it into our pan with our oil and our tablespoon and a half of butter. So now, if you take a look into our pan where we put the oil, the little bit of oil, and a little bit of butter. We have some sauteed garlic and some sauteed onions. Go ahead and put your fresh spinach right into the pan just like so. We wanna get it nice and wilted. And I'm gonna show you what special spices we're gonna put in here to make it taste delicious. And also, we're gonna split down the middle some of these gorgeous cherry tomatoes and just kinda of toss them in there. And the spinach, pretty much done. It's healthy and it's delicious. Now, when I come back, we're gonna coat, gently coat our flounder fish and a little bit of flour when I come back. Now that we got the spinach going, let's go ahead and very lightly take a little tiny bit of our flour. Like I said, keep in mind, if you don't wanna do this, go ahead and skip it all together. But I like that little bit of flour. It's gonna give you a really vague, but beautifully crispy um, crust to it, okay? but yet it's still pan seared, you know. So in my pan, I have a little tiny bit of oil, and when I say it's a little bit of oil, it really is. So if you take a look, you can see just a little bit. We're not deep frying this, but then we're also gonna use a little bit of the sweet cream butter to pan sear this also, about a tablespoon. So I'm turning our fish over. My mouth is salivating because I know how good this is. Like, we love this fish here. Okay, so now we're gonna, same thing here, just lightly get that pan nice and hot, get your butter in there. We're gonna start to sear this off just like so, Gina Young style. And also, we're gonna take some of that gorgeous polenta, and all you have to do with the polenta, you can normally find it in the, like the, um, sometimes you can find it in the produce section, and sometimes you can find it in the dairy section. All you have to do, and it's delicious, just slice it, and then you wanna slice it about this thick and give it a nice fry. It gets golden brown and crispy, and the inside is so soft and supple, like you're eating grits. Be right back. Let's take our fish and get it into the hot pan, just like so. And I'm gonna put it down seasoning side first. Make sure it's nice and hot. That sizzle right there, you gotta hear it. If you don't, just wait till your pan gets nice and hot enough, okay? Just like so, you don't wanna overcrowd the pan. Okay, because you can always do two batches if you have to. Gorgeous, and that's on like a medium heat. The medium high is fine, just stay right next to it. Now, here's what I wanna do right now. Behind me, I have a pan with a little tiny bit of vegetable oil in it. We're gonna fry up some polenta, okay? You wanna cut it like one-fourth thick. I think that's the size, just like so has to be nice and thick because you don't want it to fall apart. But then again, you don't want it too thin, you know, just kinda make it make sense here. Okay, and what you do is you lay this right beside your fish or underneath your fish. It is gonna be crispy on the outside because we're gonna fry it. And the inside is so soft and it's beautiful. Yes, it is. All right, so now that we have that done, when I come back, let's make our way to the stove behind us Get this to fry in, check on our spinach. Get our polenta right into the hot oil, just like so. And you'll know when it's done because it will be beautiful. It'll be golden brown, just like so. Doesn't take long for it to cook. Okay, so let's check in on our spinach. Gorgeous color here, you don't wanna overcook it. We got the onions, we got the garlic, now we need some flavor. A little bit of salt, don't get crazy with the salt, okay? A little bit of pepper. Oh, yeah. And then, a little bit more butter into our spinach, just like so. And now I wanna take the time to get these nice and sliced when I come back. They go into the spinach and you turn the spinach off. 
When I come back, we'll flip over our polenta, flip over our fish. We're gonna have lunch here at the Young House. Take a look at this easy, delicious spinach. It was so easy to make and it's nice and healthy. It's, it's really refreshing. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna gently turn the flounder over. Oh, yes, I'm so happy with that. Just like so, oh my goodness. We're getting some great color onto it. Beautiful, it's almost like it was baked. You know, and like I said, the uh, flour does give it a great texture that I'm looking for when I think of pan seared fish. Gorgeous, if it breaks apart, don't worry about it, it's okay. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and turn the polenta. Oh, look at that gorgeous color there. And honestly, if you want it to get a little bit darker, you can, okay? Just flip it back over. But that color right there, I'm so happy with it. Gorgeous. Take a look at it, everybody. Jeannie Young style, pan-seared flounder, sauteed spinach, and fried polenta. Make you some Gina Young style. This is gorgeous. Listen here, everybody. This meal didn't even take 35 minutes. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a prayer so you all can take a bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day. Lord, we thank you. For your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding, please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts and make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace of our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the rope over our head, the food, the love. Peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. Come on in. Let's take a bite. <laughs> this is like the best lunch. So easy to make and it's packed with flavor. I'm going all in. I'm going right in for this delicate fish. And remember I told you I was going to season it two times? When I turned it over that first time, I went ahead and put a little bit more sazon, a little tiny bit more salt on. Look at that. It's flaky and it's delicious. Take a bite. I'm going in. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm -hmm. I'm going in for the spinach. So much flavor here that we've created with hardly any ingredients. You got to use that garlic. Got to use the onion. The tomato really takes it over the top. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. The polenta. The dogs are getting excited. <laughs> Everybody's excited. Look at this. Crispy on the outside. And remember I told you how creamy on the inside. My goodness. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. God bless.